Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video I have a purchase, and we're only going to show this one purchase that I've gotten, and we're also going to open up packs from this purchase to make sure that everything that was bought was unweighed. Everything so far at this point has been unweighed, but I just want to check and make sure before I sell it as unweighed. Uh, what you see in the background is some theme decks. Um, this is something that came along with the purchase. They were relatively inexpensive on my part, but I'm not interested in any of these. These decks, uh, I collect the, the big display cases of the sealed decks, and some of these aren't in the best shape. I mean, like this one's fine. I mean, you got to zap. Uh, this, you know, it's okay condition, but like there's a trouble here on the end. I mean, it's obviously pretty wrecked, but it's still sealed. And so once you take that off, I'm sure on the inside it isn't too bad, but I, I'm not really interested in all that. That is a misty deck right there. Got a couple trouble, got brush fire, got a base set, power reserve, a couple EX series, and this is not the brush fire that I'm looking for. I know you guys have, um, some of you have emailed me links. I'm looking for the ones with the damage counters on top, just like this, saving up those for a opening on YouTube. Now to get into some of the other stuff that we have. Here we have, we got some blister packs. I assume these are completely unweighed. I mean, you'd have to have a case to figure, you know, to, to weigh them out and compare. I mean, so it's basically impossible. I get questions about that kind of stuff all the time. It's just kind of like, it, it, you don't really know because there's different print runs and stuff. So for these, you know, I'll end up selling these as well. It's not something that I personally collect. Boom. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, just send me an email, as always, down there in the description, number one Pokemon Collector at gmail.com. I will have a lot of the packs listed live on my website, tcagaming.com. Next up is something that you can't even see because it's listed a little bit taller. Uh, also, I'm not going to open up any of these, um, but you get three EX packs, and then I think you get that Ludicolo on the back side there. And it tells you right there. Like I said, I'm not a big uh, collector of the EX series stuff. I mean, I like certain things, but for most part, I'm Wizards of the Coast. And I do have multiple of those. I think there were five. I'll set them in the background since we need a little something taller back there. One, two, three, four, and then five. I think one of them was crushed. One of them had a little bit of scratching on it. Some of the other ones were completely sealed. Uh, next up, we have EX Dragon. Now, this was an open box of 27 packs. All these guys, all, all this guy's packs that I bought from so far, like they're not super minty packs. You can kind of see like the light scratching on the front. It's like they were maybe set out for display, and they just kind of like maybe they moved around a little bit and just kind of made those little scratches on the front. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up three packs. Where I'm gonna stop, you know, once we get a hollow. Hopefully, in you know one of these first three packs, we can get a hollow. If not, then I'll just keep going down the line until we do. I'll stop after six packs because if we don't have a hollow after six packs, then. Uh, I'm probably going to try to weigh them out, see if there is indeed any hollows in here. Then I'll just sell them as weight or, or I'll sell them as light or um, heavy in that case. But if I can get a hollow in these first six packs, hopefully in the first three, then we'll stop and I'll sell them as just completely unweighed. So this is a nine card pack. So one, two. So we'll just do that. Okay, so I messed that up. So I guess the reverse hollow is the second card from the back. And then the rare is the very back card. Huh. Well, got a nice reverse hollow EX Dragon card. Those are pretty tough. Let's see if we got anything cool in here. We got Magikarp, Corpish, Spoink, Houndor, Magnemite, Marsh Tomp, and Vibrava. So I guess we could just open up these packs, you know, exactly as they are. I'm gonna snip it. Gotta snip it right across the top. That's kinda cool. So we got Bagon, Bagon. Not even sure what most people go by on that one. We got Spoink. I think there's three different Spoinks in that set. We got Ninkata, Numel. Another new mail. Got two in back to back. Shell gone. High pressure system. And a reverse hollow new mail. So we got three new mails all in the same booster pack. Isn't that kind of crazy? Now, the chase pulls and EX Dragon. You've got the reverse hollow TV reporter. Don't know if it's in this print or not. You also have the. Uh, the secret rare Charizard, which is pretty crazy. And then we have a rare crawled on. So, so far, 0 for 2. More packs to open. And money I kind of blow on this, this box, but that's all right. I'd rather make sure that they're legit. That way I can sell them to you guys. All right, here we go. 
You can see that reverse hollow peeking through back there. You got the hound door, trap pinch. It's kind of cool because if you had like an EX, you wouldn't be able to know it. You got Spoink, trap pinch, shuppet, shell gone, reverse hollow, trap pinch, and a rare magneton. So we've got three more packs we'll go into. Hopefully there's a hollow in one of these. And if not, we'll just go ahead and stop there and I'll wait out and see if there actually is in the last 21 packs. So there's 27 packs in the box. And then I do have other packs that are going to be opening up in this video. I've got some Team Rocket, Jungle, and then... Uh, Fire Red Leaf Green. I don't know if I'll open up the Team Rocket or not. I will open up the Fire Red Leaf Green and the Jungle. So we've got Grimer, Slugma, Bagon, Wurmple, uh, another Bagon, Combuskin, and it is the corrected version. The Error version, I think, came out in the 2004 trainer kit. The Error says Stage 2 right there instead of Stage 1. Flaffy, and then we have Reverse Hollow Swellow, and then Flygon. Alright, so 0 for 4. You know what? This is probably good for you guys because if there's hollows in here, then they're probably going to be loaded. Next up. Cool if we can get us a nice pull there. Alright, we got Trap Hinch, Geodude, New Male, Spoink, another New Male, Cedra, Snorunt, Talo, and Shellgon. Alright, so here's the last chance for a hollow for these to be sold as unweighed. We'd be six packs into this one. Swablu, Corpish, Geodude, Mareep, Dratini, Metatite. Ooh, got us a EX, Kingdra EX, or, yeah, <laughs> Kingdra EX. Oh, a Torkoal and a Crawdon. So maybe with these, if you get a hollow, it'll be in like uh, this spot right here. But man, that's really cool. So let's check that one out. So these are definitely unweighed. And going one for six, there's 21 packs left. So there should be a higher chance for you guys to pull hollows now. Man. That thing looks great. So if you're worried about condition, I think we'll be okay on that because the packs have a little bit of scratches on them. But man, that looks great. Wow. Might be an easy PSA 10 there. Definitely won't make my money back off that one card for the six packs, but we had fun nevertheless. So we will have unweighed EX Dragon Booster Packs on the website for sale. I'll figure out a price soon enough. They'll probably be around like the $80, $90 range, something like that. I'll have to check the price on a booster box. Uh, maybe a little bit more depending on how much, you know, one of these goes for. I'm thinking <clears throat> probably in that range, maybe $100, a little bit more if we uh, if it's over $3,000 now. All right, so next up we have Fire Red Leaf Green. Uh, I actually had a full box of 36 and then there was an additional seven pack. So we're just going to do this exact same way as we did with the EX Dragon. I'm going to start with the first pack. If we pull a hollow, we're going to go ahead and stop. And, but if we don't, then we're going to keep pulling until we pull a hollow. I won't go past these first seven packs. Hopefully it won't take that long. And now there are several chase pulls in this set, but most people want the Charizard EX. we we'll just open it straight through just in case it's like the EX Dragon. Nidoran, Weedle, Bell Sprout. Ooh, wow, there we go. Got the Parallel Hollow Pikachu. Man, check that out. Bet that does pretty good in PSA 10. Then we got a rare Magneton. So these are three, three and four off the back. I'm definitely sleeving that Pikachu up. Dang, dude. Going to PSA. All right, pack number two. We'll pull the back two off on this pack. So we got one, two. So it should be. The uncommons first. We got Lickitung, Poliwhirl, Diglett, Paris, Venonat, Magnemite, Bulbasaur. Got a reverse hollow Voltorb, and yeah, you can see the swirl right there. And then a hollow Polyrath, so definitely unweighed again. So I think that leaves us with 36 plus another five. There should be 41 packs that I'm gonna sell as unweighed. I'm gonna check the prices on the Fire Red Leaf Green. Usually unweighed brings a decent premium over just the regular unweighed on eBay because most of the time people will have they'll buy three packs from somewhere they'll keep it for years and then they'll go and put it on eBay and sell it as unweighed but really you don't know unless you do something like this where you open up a lot of the packs or you go in and physically weigh them out and then shuffle them back up together 
But everything I bought from this guy so far has been on weight, so it's been a lot of fun. And so this is exactly as I would have expected. So there we go. We got the fire red leaf green packs. Gonna push them off to the side. I also have seven hidden legends booster packs. So I don't think there's enough here for me to open up and say whether or not they're unweighed or not. Because if I opened up, you know, one pack and there's a hollow in there, that kind of makes the chances of this these few go down. Let me uh, cancel that out. Ah. I think my wife's calling me. I told her about 11.30 I was going to head out that way, and I think it's 11 now, so you know that's going to be a little early. So what I'll end up doing is I'll weigh these out, and I'll sell them either as light or heavy. You know, if they're all light, they'll all be light, and they'll be the you know, bottom price. But if they're heavy, they'll command a premium on that. Next up, I have a Team Rocket booster box right here. And um, I'm not going to bust the seal on this just yet, but I am going to sell these. Well, we'll go ahead and bust the seal. This is, I mean, this box is in terrible condition. I'm gonna sell these as unweighed. Got to figure out price for that. Probably around ninety dollars or so for an unweighed Team Rocket booster pack. Stick that in there. There we go. As you can see, they're just the regular Team Rocket unlimited booster packs. So we'll have those. I'm not going to open any of them. That way we keep the box completely intact. Uh, I am going to open up a few of the jungle. This way we can see if there are no symbol hollows. If there ends up being a no symbol hollow, then the prices of course would go up. The light packs wouldn't and we'd weigh out the heavies. But what we're going to do is, or maybe we'll just sell it all in weight. But I'm going to sell these as unweighed, but I'm going to open it up until we get a hollow out of this box. And then the rest of the box will be unweighed. I'm not sure how you tell them those symbols or not. I think there have been people out there who have done it. But I thought it would be fun, too, to open up some Team Rocket booster packs. Not Team Rocket. Jungle booster packs. It would be fun to open up Team Rocket. Let's go ahead and snip. Maybe we'll get a hollow right here in pack number one. One, two, three, four. I guess we'll just set that right there off to the side. So we got Cubone, Paris, Rhyhorn, the Venonat, Bill Sprout, Spiro, Meowth, Lickitung, Firo, and Executor. And then for the rare, we have, we did, we got us a holler right off the bat. So we took Vile Plume out of the pulling pool. It is not, uh, it's just the regular ones with the symbol. So there are 35 booster packs left. They are all unweighed. And uh, these will be, I think, at $90 each is what I said I was going to do on the jungle. Just because there's a lot of demand for the jungle hollows in PSA 10. I think these are going to keep going up. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the, the video opening. Let me know if you're looking for any of these booster packs. Uh, I will not have this stuff in the background on the website, but I will have these other booster packs on the website. Thanks, guys.